getting to that, <laughs> getting to that point of um, must win situations, right? Yeah, I mean that's that's what it is. You know, now we're in that stretch where. You know, we put ourselves in a position that, you know, we do control our own fate, that we can get in if we win our game. So um, this home game against Chicago on Saturday is a must win. And um, we're coming out as if it's a cup final. And um, guys got to be dialed in. It seems like there's something about this team that uh, while the score wasn't good on Saturday, you, you kept playing through, could have gotten a couple of goals. Yeah. Uh, what is it about, and you've been on so many teams, what is it about this team where the heads never seem to go down. Am I reading that correctly? Yeah, definitely. I think there's, you know, there's a lot of heart on this team. I think there's a lot of veteran players too that know um, that, you know, just one one play could change the swing of a game, and you know, you can score a couple goals in the last couple of minutes. So, yeah, I mean, we we're disappointed with the way that we played and the way, you know, obviously the first half um, happened, and we we dug ourselves a hole and couldn't get out. But you know, credit to ourselves that we, you know, kept fighting and kept pushing, and Ku had a great goal to. Bring a little bit of momentum and a little little hope, but um, at the end, it, you know, we got to start better. And um, like I said, this 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 team's going to fight for for every game, and um, these home games are critical right now. How about his attitude? Yeah, he came off the bench like he was a yeah uh, rallying cry, and the ball goes in the net, and he does a hundred yard dash, a fifty. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's a twenty one year old. Yeah, you see that? it's great. No, Koo brings that every day in tra training too. You know, he brings that that energy, that feistiness, that willingness to score, take people on, and um, you know he's creative in in the attacking third, and that's what we need. We need some people to take risks, and um, he's willing to go at guys and um, not be afraid to make mistakes. And he's going to score his goals. He's a great finisher, so um, we've seen that in training, and you know we expect nothing less from him. Hey Steve, um, talking about taking risks, um, do we, for example, Philadelphia? Yeah, yeah. Go get the box. Yeah. That's an attitude. Are we are we looking to get more uh, people in the box? In other words, uh, attrition, right? Misses yeah. the first guy, misses the second, third guy slams it home. Yeah. Um, how do you how do you uh, do that and, and also be cautious on the defensive end, not getting hit on the break? Yeah, I think that's a good point because we've had we've relied so much on Christian this year, and you know he can't do everything himself. He's a great finisher and a great presence in the box, but we need more guys around him, especially if he can have like a knockdown or something like that. So yeah, it's been. Um, one of the things we focus on the last couple of weeks is to, you know, get guys in the box to make those runs and and support him and make sure that we can get more goals because we need more goals to win these games. So, um, yeah, but it, you know, it's also on us as a defense to be in positions to keep the ball in their half and have active marking and make sure that we're tight on their forwards and their midfielders to make sure we're organized to not get beat on the opposite side. Thank you. Yeah. How's how's um, how's Wayne handled all this throughout the year? There's been a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. Off, away from the field, on the field, obviously, there's been some, some issues here and there. How, as a coach, and as really a young coach, how has he handled all of this? Well, he's played in this league before, and he knows that there's going to be ups and downs um, throughout the year. Um, that happened when he was here. Um, you know, I've talked to him over the, the, the years before that um, he wasn't here. Um, and there's so much parity throughout this league that, you know, anyone can win on any given day. It's a little different than other leagues. So. Um, like you said, you're going to have stretches of wins, you're going to have stretches of losses, um, but it's about holding the team together, and he's done that. You know, he's held the team um, together, and um, you know, we're like I said, we're a team that has heart, and we're going to fight, um, and that's what he wants. And you know, we're we're just building on that. And given his past as a player, um, does that does that rub off on you guys knowing he's been in situations like this yeah. personally for uh, for years? Yeah, I mean, it, it rubs off. I mean, we, we know what a great player he was. And um, obviously, there's so much respect there as a player and a manager. So um, guys want to win for him. And that's what we're going to do. And you know, we got eight games left to, to go out there and prove him.